Archbishop Gallagher, Holy See's diplomacy never takes sides but always works for peace, the Vatican Secretary for Relations with States and International Organizations, delivers Alexio Magistralis on the spirit of Aquilia and the Holy See's diplomacy and remarks that the Vatican diplomacy never takes sides, but always works for peace. A city that through its more than two millennia of history has matured a particular sensitivity for peace, learning to settle disagreements emerging from cultural, linguistic and ethnic differences. This is how Archbishop Paul Richard Gallagher, Vatican Secretary for Relations with States and International Organizations, described Aquilia, on 12th of July, in the small Friuli Venezia Giulia municipality, where he delivered a keynote lecture for the liturgical commemoration of Saints Ermagora and Fortunato, martyrs from Aquilia and patrons of the Archdiocese of Gorizia and Trivenito. In his Lexio Magistralis titled Aquilia Magistra Passis, a counterpoint to the diplomacy of the Holy See, the Vatican diplomat reiterated that the Holy See's diplomacy is strongly committed to putting an end to ongoing conflicts, from Ukraine to Palestine, Israel, Azerbaijan, Myanmar, Ethiopia, Sudan, and Yemen. Archbishop Gallagher made it clear that the Holy See always mobilizes itself as a subject superpartes, seeking to unite divergent ideas, opposing political positions, religious visions and different ideologies, promoting peace and respect for international norms and fundamental human rights. He recalled that it is also active on the humanitarian level, for example in working to facilitate the repatriation of Ukrainian children and the exchange of prisoners of war between Russia and Ukraine, as well as to encourage the release of Israeli hostages in the Gaza Strip. A city at the crossroads of people and ideas, in the lecture Archbishop Gallagher renodded, from the present day to the past, the threads of history starting with the foundation of Aquileia in 181 BC. Even then, he said, the city distinguished itself as an extraordinary cosmopolitan crossroads of peoples and ideas and facilitated the diffusion of artistic, cultural and cultic influences. He noted that they were reworked and readapted to its own context, adding that even in the Christian era the city distinguished itself for its extraordinary vocation for the concord of peoples. Archbishop Gallagher observed that from Aquilia, among other things, Christianity spread to neighboring lands, gradually coming into contact with heterogeneous peoples and cultures, bringing them together and bearing fruit in every field of thought, spirituality and art. All this, he marveled, has generated a spirit of welcome and coexistence, the art of dialogue and confrontation and the ability to make the most of stimuli from outside. The spirit of Aquilia and Vatican diplomacy, the long history of coexistence, encounter and dialogue.